Live, here I am. Welcome to Tuesday Night Modern. Welcome I'm, indeed. Uh, we've got a nice one up here. We Are do. Are these deck lists correct? Uh, I do not know. Uh, I'm assuming so. Matt's doing a pretty bang bang job down there, as he usually does. I'm the barbarous Taylor Gun here with the handsome John Douglas. I don't know if I approve of barbarous. Barbarous. <laughs> you don't seem very barbarous. And you know that doesn't mean that you're a barber, right? No, I know it means I'm a barbarian. Okay. As if I were a barbarian. You're not. And neither of you, or either of these guys. You got some interesting looking uh well, there we go. Yeah, we've got a main deck Nile spell bomb. That's a pretty strong one here. Did you Is that an ancient ziggurat? Looks like it. Okay, excellent. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I, uh, I'm i responsible for picking this match. And I uh, intentionally selected... Jonathan Tobble doesn't make it to the store all the time. Uh, and I wanted to make sure he got on camera today when, when he did. Alright, well. Got him. He's... Uh, This is Lino kind of awkward. Vessel. Um, yeah, this is a tough hand to Thoughtseize. I won't lie. So if he takes the Thoughtseize here, then Mario's turn one either becomes Vessel or Nile Spellbomb. Uh-huh. And knowing what he's playing against, the Vessel might just be the right play. So that can't be an Ancient Ziggurat. I don't know what that is. It, it might, I wonder if it's the promo Sandstep Citadel. Hmm. Um, that was Perhaps. A, they gave it an alternate art foiling in the, the that dual deck. I it, see. So Topple's doing what the deck will do. He's taking a bunch of damage here. He's going to be casting Serum Visions. Let's see how heads up Mario is going to play here. Uh, so he's going to cast his Hero Visions. That gives him the fourth card in his graveyard. Okay. He's a card away from being able to cast Tassiger. Right. So he's hoping that he draws into, I guess, like a Street Wraith or something. Getting the basic island is interesting. Just passing the turn. All right. So if Mario sees what's going on here, this Nile Spell Bomb is a big deal. Yeah, and now he's got to do it here. You can't just let him. Yeah. You can't just let it be. Hmm. So I think popping the Nile spell bomb and being able to draw the card was uh was much more relevant than this uh Again, vessel. Getting the vessel active, sure. <clears throat> like replacing that card is a huge deal. All right. So here's another fetch land. This will put Topple into range that he can cast this Death Shadow. Alright, so we got Death Shadow at 3-3. Three, three. No. At 1-1. Uh, one, one. Alright. There we go. There we go. There's a water grave. Untapped, and he taps it to pay for the Death Shadow. So he's chosen to go with two blue, two black, and a red here. All right, so Nameless here Reversion we is see... going to add to the Delirium count. Yeah, we're going to, I mean, we have Delirium. All right, so we got a Fatal Push there. I could see casting the vessel if you knew you were gonna pop it next turn and you needed a land. Right. But he, if he had this uh, voyaging Seder, Seder Voyager, or whatever it is, is it Seder Voyager? It's a Wayfinder. Wayfinder. Seder Wayfinder. Seder Wayfinder. It's gonna right. find the way. Uh, it found its way to the graveyard there. But if you were gonna cast that on your third turn anyway, then. Absolutely no point in playing this vessel out. I think that's the worst push ever, by the way. Uh, it was not a good push. 
If your opponent is filling their graveyard with various types of cards. Helping them out, not where you want to be. Alright, so we've got a 6-6 six, six Death Shadow Swinging. Tassiger joins the fray. So I could imagine this deck having a very good matchup here. It's got Lingering Souls that's about to... Yeah, Flashback Lingering Souls that's about to do can some, be very problematic for blocking. Death Shadow. Especially these Grixis versions. And then, I mean, can you imagine if... Uh, if John Jonathan puts himself to a low life total, and uh, you get to Ember cool him. Oh sure. I mean, you could use your fatal pushes on your own guys. You could thought seize your, you know, your opponent and not find anything. You know, lots, lots of lots of things you can do. It's a smuggler's copter in there. You gotta play some artifacts. Yeah, I figure a second. Nile Spellbomb is probably better than the first Smuggler's Copter in the metagame now. He would love a fifth land. I think if he can get to the fifth land, he can. Uh... Sakura Tribe Elder? Yeah, man, it blocks. Does it? It's about to. Does it? About to. Is it? About to. All right. Um. But yeah, w when he gets his fifth, fifth land off this tribe elder, uh, then he's gonna be able to ember cool him, and that's gonna be a big deal. If he's got an ember cool in hand. So he's giving him the K command. Instead of the Snapcaster Mage, you need the Snapcasters in the graveyard. So it's just which lets him buy back that with the K command. Right. Maybe he's trying to protect cards in his hand. Wow. So this is important for him to have no cards on the table when he. Emeracles, so that Jonathan can't like unload his hand. Now we have a thought seize. There is the Emeracle. Doesn't even care about the Emeracle. Not sure what happened there, I think. The Seder Wayfinder is dead. Yep, there we go. So the Seder Wayfinder goes down. And I think so we have Tribal Instant Sorcery, Creature, Artifact. So we have a land. We have a Planeswalker. Planeswalker. Is, is I don't think we have a land. But we do have Enchantment. So 6 of 13. That's what it looks like. Let's see if we can roll off two lands here. There's no sense in not taking it. Right, it's the same either way. Unless you want to try for a different land with a Grizzly Salvage. So that'll do it. Interesting. See, so yeah, I uh, I think this deck from Mario could be constructed a little better, but I like the idea. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's clear he was building it on a budget. Um, we didn't see any fetch lands. Right, I think we didn't see any shocks. Instead of the instead of the sand step citadels, there would have just made the world a difference. Yeah, I mean, you, so you can rehaul the entire mana base so that just land in the graveyard is absolutely free. Just right. the full on like ten fetches. <laughs> absolutely. Um, but I like the idea. So I was I was kicking this around, wondering, you know, how easy would it be to cast an Emrakul on turn three or four, and take their turn? Yeah. Um, and I kind of had like an expedition map plus Urza lands plus, uh, what's it called? Uh, the um, Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth. To mm -hmm. to try and cast some black spells and and. Uh, that was my thought process. Yeah, that's that seems just worse than Eldrazi Tron. Right. It, it it definitely was. Okay. Uh, I didn't I didn't actually like you know take the deck out and like try and win a tournament with it. Thank God. <laughs> but my point is, is, I like this idea. I think I think it's uh, it's worth exploring. I'm just a little bit of a. A worse player than, than uh, say a Conley Woods who's, who's brewing all kinds of stuff in modern. Certainly. So I think that, the, the green black, just core, is good and diverse enough, to where you don't have to dilute it with other things if you if casting Emrakul is your plan. Sure. And I think that it's resilient enough to where you don't need to focus on casting on turn three. You can focus on casting on turn five or six. Sure. Do you like the uh, like to go as far as to to play Namelson version? I'm not thrilled about it. You can play one or two, maybe. I you know I'd I'd stop at one if I was going to do it, but okay. Can you stop at one, man. I don't like Vessel of Nascency. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, that card's probably a push. Probably, probably push, put that one in the in the sideboard, or in, back in the binder, or you know, in the garbage can. Yeah, just you know, the circular file. But I tell you what, I would play a Courser of Crufix. Oh yeah. I'd like to play that card. Sure, that's a great way to put enchantment in the graveyard. And to play additional lands every turn, and you know, just you don't get to play additional. You just get to play them off the top. Yeah. So on average, you're gonna make more land drops with a cursor in play than than not. Sure. Um, and gain some life in the process. Right. Gain some life in the process. Jonathan down to six. Deck Mulligan's well. This isn't a keeper either. Goodness, he brought in the ceremonious rejection. Okay. I think you can really rely on just your discard to get you through that. Oh man, he needs to land off of this real bad. Doesn't get it. Whew. This could be very bad. That keep is loose. Loosey goosey. You gotta go to five on that. Okay. Looking at a bunch of citadels. We know so now they instead are, of this um, wayfinder, we could jam like uh, grim flayers. I think that's a huge upgrade. Sure. Yeah, so this was a bad keep. Uh, not not only on the fact that it's like he he had to he looked at two cards to get a land. He mm -hmm. had to find a blue land specifically. Right, and didn't uh, get that. Yeah, and and so we we've got terminate live now. Um, fortunately for Jonathan, this this deck from Mario does not um produce a ton of pressure. Yeah, there's practically no pressure. Although this smuggler's copter. Gets in there for three. And this Lily, the Liliana is a lot of virtual pressure. Yeah, if that Liliana goes ultimate, there's nothing Jonathan can do. Right. And it looks like it is. Absolutely. Oh. 
this morning is going to probably probably get an opportunity to crew here. Oh man, pushing it instead of terminating, terminating it is a it's bit of a misplay. Easy. Especially since you have two terminates. Yeah. That so Death Shadow is a pretty good draw. Going to game three, he wasn't going to be able to stop the lily. Sure. So I personally think that the Grixis Shadow deck mulligans well. Okay. Um, I think I think the types of cards it has in it allow you to look at a lot of cards. So being at five cards isn't necessarily like the end of the world. Um, right. I mean, obviously not optimal, but. Right. Um, but like between Serum Visions, Thought Scour, and Street Wraith, mm -hmm. you get to mow through a lot of cards. Uh, to the point where is if, if you can cast those things, you can really find whatever it is you need, whether it be more lands, more removal. Absolutely. Um, sure. So this one's got lands. Also got ceremonies rejections. Four lands is awkward. You got an inquisition. Two inquisitions, a ceremonies rejection, four lands. Um... All right. This is kind of awkward. I would take this Liliana here, as it's the only card that you can't deal with otherwise. You can't deal with anything in his current hand. I would personally take the Vessel, because mm -hmm. you have another Inquisition. Sure. And Vessel's his turn one play. You take him off his turn one play. Oh, he drew the land anyway. Um... <clears throat> And you know that you're able to take the Lily next turn because you have another Inquisition. Taking the Copter here. Ceremoniously rejected that. Yeah, this is one a of bit the, strange. Yeah, one of the, the things you have to do is, and this is good when you're playing against this Grixis Shadow deck, is that you can kind of tell what's in their hand by how they're using their discard on your hand. Right. Um, to some extent. They yeah, to some extent. That. I mean, you can... You, you can eliminate certain cards. Correct. Um, Man, he is not being aggressive with his life total at all. Yeah, I really like being at like a almost like 15 or 12 here. I mean, he could be down to 15 and then this fetch would take him down to 12. Right. I also don't like thought scouring before fetching as there's sometimes only one copy of the land that you might want to get. Right. So this making that decision and then and then doing it and then thought scouring is much more my style. Hecking away. These uh, wayfinders are gonna find a way. He's gonna put himself to thirteen there and then being at, then be at ten on his next turn for this. Uh, so we'll get a nice 3-3 three, three Death Shadow. Right. But now you can't even cast it. Seems even slower. Like, hmm. Hitting two non-fetch lands is rough because he has two fetches in hand. And from my experience, there's like six to seven fetchable lands there. Yeah. Um, I believe most of us run two Watery Grave, one Steam Vents, two Blood Crypt, one Swamp, and one Island. 
And if he's already got three plus the two that he milled. I mean, you're usually, unless it's like turn 30, you're usually going to find one of them. Right. Um, we got a card type check. Total is seven. We're missing in... Total is six. We're missing tribal. Couldn't tell what else. Maybe creature. He's got tribal in hand. So if he's playing a stock list, then he doesn't have a shock here to get. Oh no, he does. He has a... A sure. second blood crypt there, but I think that's his last shock. Right. Makes this pretty awkward. Much more difficult to grow the Death Shadow. Yeah, you're really down to like your. I mean, I suppose you can just ding yourself for one with these fetch lands, but. I mean, it's is necessary sometimes. Correct. So this will put him down to 10. It's one of the things I really I find super interesting about these Death Shadow lists is that like so obviously the lands are part of every deck but like the lands fill like a very specific function in this deck. Right. Um, beyond casting your spells. Like you know we gotta have the lands that we want. Down to nine. Puts this Death Shadow out of Nameless Inversion range, but he drew the Street Wraith anyway. Alright, so we go up to types. seven. Alright, here's Emrakul, the So seven times, plus six mana. Yep, so this is going to let Mario control Jonathan's next turn. But then he gets another turn after that. So Jonathan's going to go to 8 on this fetch. Alright, All right. so you cycle. Yeah, he's going to cycle his tree. He's going to take him to 6. Uh, thought sees himself. Take himself to four. Then he can pop this fetch, fail to find. Good. Put him to three. But then Mario is two, two, two death shots. Shadows shots away. He's thinking about just letting him have the thought sees, I guess. I just don't think you can do that. I think you just gotta put him to three. And uh Hope. Yeah, hope like you're only gonna take one shot. I 
don't think he's gonna find anything that he can actually get. Yeah. All right, so he took three there from six. So Jonathan's at three, so this death shot is ten. Oh, man, he drew a surgical extraction. Position. All right, so he surgically extracted the Emrakul. So no more of that shenanigans. Let's see what else he can do. So Mario needs a specific running uh, draws here. He needs to draw a removal spell followed by any creature. would put him way ahead in this game. Just Liliana would do it. Here's Yeah, Liliana would have been a great one too. Of the veil, not the the uh... the new one. I th the new one would have been fine. Oh, because you can get back a creature. Right. All right. Well, there's your uh, there's your interesting matchup for the evening. We're gonna have yeah, lots very of interesting, interesting ones here tonight. We got some we got some interesting people coming coming out to play Modern Game Swap Mason here on Tuesdays at six thirty. Uh, if you love the stream, tell us. If you really love the stream, donate to the Patreon. We're going to have uh, Matt put a link in the chat. It's right there on the page. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, All right, let me well, show you. Let me show you right where it is. Well, be Just below the video. Be smarter than me. Show me. Uh, it's in the info tab here. So hit that info tab. Bam. And then there's a there's a Patreon banner right there for you to, to join up, donate. Uh, we take Patreon, PayPal, uh, boxes of commons and uncommons. We don't do that. I will accept them on behalf of the stream at SCG Cincinnati. I would recommend not donating to the feckless Taylor Gun here. Uh, all right. <laughs> I would recommend coming back here in about 20 minutes to find out what our next match is going to be. I'm excited to find out what our next match is going to be. Me so too. I'll be here. Me too. See you in 20 minutes.